Hey to you. I want to welcome you to another episode of How I Animate Clip Studio Paint. Okay, today's episode is about layers. We're going to talk about raster layers and vector layers. And then we'll get into some of the ways that you can use them to enhance your animation. Click that subscribe button. Let's get into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is these rasterized layers. And when it comes to rasterized layers, or raster layers, depending on what um, program you're using, it's more of the sketchy feel layers. Like it's the layers that you want to do a lot of sketching on. And the great thing about CSP is that it has some of the same features as Animate or these other programs like Toon Boon where you can do vectorized um, lines. It has a little bit of the best of both worlds. So when it comes to these raster layers, if I zoom in, you can see it starts to pixelate a little bit, right? Oh, sorry, that's it. Here we go. It starts to pixelate here. And what that what that means is if you start to squash and stretch it too much, whatever your exported um, images are, it'll start to uh, lower the quality of it. But the great thing about CSP is you have vector layers. So I had a vector layer that I drew over the top. And the vector layer, let's turn this one off. If you zoom in, you see it, ha it holds up. You see it doesn't start to fade in any section. And that's just like a computer algorithm. So in order to bring up your raster layer, the layer that you would sketch on, you just go right here. This is the regular layer creator. So it's just new raster layer. And that's it, call it a day, right? Let me delete that. And then right next to it is the new vector layer. Click that, call it a day. Oh yeah, as a reminder, you cannot color in vector layers. It's only for line art. But what I wanna get into now is how I went about coloring this, um, this image. And this is going to help you understand how layers work um, also. And then this will help you with some of the tools. So what I did was I clicked or select the tool that I did the sketch in, came over to the auto select tool. It's a W. It looks like a wand. And then you can just click inside of your drawing and it'll highlight all of the empty space. As long as these lines are closed and sealed off, you won't have to worry about it um, selecting areas that you don't want. And basically what I did was select this inside, come out to select, expand selected area, and then I expanded by two pixels because I wanted to go a little bit into the line that's drawn. So let's do that. And now that that's done, it makes it easy for me to create a new raster layer, take the color I want, and then just drop it in with the paint bucket tool. So it's a lot of ways to color your um, images, but I think that that's one of the easiest. So you can also just take the brush tool or the paint tool, paint brush tool, <clears throat> and just color inside but you won't have to worry about it going outside of your selection. Okay, with that being said, let's get into some more of these features. So with the coloring that I have, the other feature that a layer can do is something called an overlay, right? These are blending modes. So let's say, see what I have already. I did a quick shadow drawing, right? And all I did was, let's bring it all the way up, select the color black, went in and drew in the spaces that I wanted a shadow to be on my character. And this is very important because I know a lot of people want to do realism, want to do cartoon, want to do a little bit of both. But when it comes to animation, you have to simplify and you have to make sacrifices to the character um, details in order to be able to make your um, your animation feasible. So all I did was take these areas that I would like a little bit of shadow in, select blended mode of soft light, bring down 
the opacity. So this, this is the opacity bar for the layer. And now it's on top. Now it's on top of the colors and it's on top of the line art, right? But there's one more feature that I want to um, kind of show you guys that layers do. And then we'll get more into blending modes in the next episode. But this other feature that I want to show you guys is, is one of the most amazing features that I found out about. So let me turn this off and let me create a new layer. And with this layer, we'll call it um, Rim Light. And you want to right click this layer, come over to Layer Settings, and clip to Layer Below. What this does is it allows you to only color on the layer that's below this layer. So if you, you know how you see things with like highlights and stuff like that, and it seems like it's just on the outside, that coloring is just touching on the line art. So hold on, let me change this um, rim light to the vector layer section, because it's gonna blend better on that because it's, it's much more stable and clean. And let me change the background. Let's turn off this sketch line art and let's come back up to the rim light. So now that we got the rim light, let's get a bright color. Oh, it don't matter. And we'll just, oops. All right, and we'll just select the pen tool and go straight over that line. And this works really well if you want to do something like have an effect, a lighting effect over the character and um, like a blending mode would be like a glow or something like that, right? And then you'll do a bunch more details for that. And basics for layers is really simple, but it can get very complex and very detailed. Every step that you use can enhance your animation. So while we like to keep it simple here, right? We still, we still want to, um, you know, give your um, character a little sense of life. And that's where all of that comes in, the rim lights and all of that stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And as always, anime life forever. <laughs>